up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we got a, a doozy for you. Something that I've been waiting for to do for some time now because the original stock foot pegs on this bike suck. Any Harley owner knows that the stock foot pegs are horrible, they suck. Um, when you're riding your bike, you feel like your foot is about to like literally slip off. Um, especially if you're wearing sneakers, if you're wearing like a pair of Vans or something like this, and it's like there's not a lot of grip. Um, your foot just tends to kind of like slide off little by little. So I went ahead and I purchased these flow foot pegs. These are amazing. I really like the looks of them. They feel amazing. Uh, a few of my friends have them already and I am super, super stoked to put them on the bike today. I was originally gonna go with the uh, Harley Davidson ones, um, but then I changed my mind. And these were also a little cheaper. They look cooler and they're just more different. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the box, show you guys what they look like. So pretty nice packaging from the get. Um, really, really happy about the packaging. It looks really cool. Show you guys a little detail review of everything right now. So right here, you have the uh, Flow uh, logo on the side, which is amazing. It looks really cool. So it's gonna be on both sides, as you can see. So you're gonna see it from the front and from the back. The grip on this thing is it's insane, man. Like, it, it's just super cool, man. Super, super cool. Um, I was also gonna go with the red because I wanted to add red to the bike, but then I changed my mind. Due to the fact that later on I might be powder coating the wheels a different color, I'm not gonna say what color yet, but something insane, a weird color that you wouldn't picture me doing, uh, but I just wanna change the whole looks, the whole aesthetics of it. I'm still thinking about it. I might do some plastic dip first, play around with that, and if I do decide that I wanna go with that color, then we'll go with that. Um, so we got the two foot pegs. This should be a very, very simple install, guys. And inside, we got some pretty cool stickers. So we got this sticker, we got that sticker, and then we got this sticker right here. So pretty cool stuff, man. Flow Motorsport, pretty cool. We're gonna be adding this to the sticker wall. I'll show you guys the sticker wall afterwards, how it's coming along little by little. I might put one of these on my half helmet as well. Now the install should be something fairly easy. I've never done it before, so we're gonna do it together today. You're gonna need this to separate the lock rings from the bottom, um, It should, and that's it. You're basically gonna just separate, pop them out, pop the whole peg out, put these in with the uh, stock springs in it, and that's it. So hopefully it's that easy as I'm making it sound right now. We're gonna get into it right now, let's go. All right, guys, so around here is where we have the uh, lock ring. So we're going to go ahead and separate the ring with this little cool tool that I have here. Hopefully it works out. All right, so I had to go out and get another smaller snap ring plier set. The one I had is too big, so hopefully with this one works. All right, so since this piece of crap isn't going to work, I'm just going to be try to be creative. I'm going to try to um, just stuff this in here and pull this out, like wedge it out. See if that works. And it did. So that worked. So this is the piece right here which you gotta try to open up or wedge out. So we just got it out. I just all I did was just put the head of this right here and kinda yanked it out of place. So that should be easy guys. We just pop this thing up through here. There you go, we got our stock peg off. All right, so you're gonna use your stock spring that was on your uh, stock uh, peg, and there's gonna be a little hole in here which you're gonna input it, just insert it through there. And you're gonna line it up with the hole right there on the side so you can put the bolt right through it. And then the other tip of the spring should go right here where the step is at. Now we put our bolt through the top, Make sure it fits in there. It's gonna go through the peg, through the spring, and then out the other way. We'll just tap this in. There we go. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. What we're going to do now is take this little lock washer and try to snap it on there. See if I can do this. Let's figure just push it down with this peg on this side. Hey, listen, you gotta use whatever tools you have around you and try to be a little, uh, you know, innovating with whatever you have. Ah, there we go. So now your peg locks in whenever you wanna move out of place and it's right there. And it's already looking really good. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go and do the other side. All right, so now 
we have our second one, which we're gonna do right here. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and show you guys exactly what I'm doing all over again. All right guys, so once again, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and try to pop this little lock uh, washer out. All right, so we got the spring out. And we have our bolt out right there as well. Gonna go ahead, watch out with that spring. Like I said before, you're gonna be taking out this spring right here that comes with the stock uh, peg. So as you can see right there, that's where the head of the spring is gonna go. The other one's gonna be on right here. All right, so we're gonna take our flow peg, we're gonna take our spring, pop it in that hole right there. Put the whole unit right here where the slip is at. Uh, just make sure everything lines up in place guys so when you try to put your ball you don't have a really hard time putting everything in so as you can see i just put it right through in there all we're gonna do now is uh slap this little uh lock washer on whatever the name is slap slap it on i'm slapping the base and just like that we have our second one on so pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and step on it right now let me just wash my hands first because I got all this black grease on my hands and I don't want to get this all over the bike. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. I got to wipe those pegs off as well because we want it to be very clean. They feel really good, guys. They feel really, really good. Like my foot is on there right now and I, it's just like I could try to slide it off and it's like locked in place. Those little teeth really like hold your foot, uh, your shoe right in place where uh, we're where supposed to be. I like it, very nice. Very cool. All right guys, also one last thing, right before you go out on your ride, after you finish installing them, you can also go ahead and adjust it. Um, you can exactly set the peg exactly the way you want it. If you want it to be more tilted, just flat on. Um, just take your tool um, and you can tighten it up right. All right, guys, so that was the installation on the uh, Flow Motorsport B2 MX Freestyle Pegs for your Harley Davidson Softail. Um, I think it was around $139 with shipping and everything. It was like $149 or so. The product only took three days to get here, so super hyped about that as well. I like getting my stuff right away as soon as I order it. Um, so three days to order, $149 and they look amazing they feel amazing pretty soon we're gonna go out we're gonna be doing a review ride after i've had them on for about a week or so tell you guys how they feel how they are on the road for any long rides or so um so if you want to go ahead and purchase these they also do come in different colors but i think those are for like dinos and stuff like that um but the black obviously as you can see looks amazing looks pretty cool it gives the bike a different different total vibe and like i was saying before as i sat on the bike and i put my foot on it i felt like it wasn't going anywhere um so it felt great so pretty happy about that thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that bell button right now it's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content like always guys ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace